Right. Hi. Probably look a little different. Um, I apologize for the lack of uploads. Um, just the holidays, everything. And then uh, the army had some stuff I had to do. So I just kind of been out of pocket. Um, but I'm back at it here. Still have to do the drawing. Um, I have uh, quite a few people are entered. Not as many as I thought. Um, today is the 13th, I believe. Um, so let's do, I'll, I'll get back on that. I'll put something up in the discussion. You'll see it. But today's video isn't about ox or anything. We actually have that, our beef cross bull calf here. This boy here, I don't think you can see him very well. Clean this off a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Um, he's not doing too well. Um, he's been scouring up pretty bad and I don't know if it was from side effects of all these um, um, selenium injections and the A&E so we're gonna do days we're gonna give him some electrolytes we're gonna keep following up with him every couple hours and just try to get him hydrated again his eyes are real sunk so here let me switch this camera around okay so if you can see her see her eye it's nice and full. She's clearly hydrated. Now, I'm going to swing around here. Oh, there's big poop right there. I don't want to touch that. Here, I'll show you his eyes. So, and here's our calves. Everyone's doing good in there. Yeah, yeah. We're actually going to start weaning them off here in a bit. So, we'll have a little series on how I wean calves. That'll probably be the next video. And then we do have auctions coming up. Don't worry. I'm not here to bother you. Get off my hay, boy. Get off that. Okay. So come here, come here, bud. So see his eyes? They're real kind of sunken in there. You can tell he's dehydrated. And he's dehydrated from all the scouring. He just wasn't getting enough water in, and he wasn't retaining it enough. Now, I'm not 100% sure what his problem exactly is. I've given him a broad-spectrum antibiotic, tried to knock it out of him, but that didn't seem to do it. So if that doesn't work, I might give him a oral clay. Um... It's like a clay, gel, whatever it is. We're going to give that to him to help for, try to firm him up. But I'm going to give him, uh, I'm actually going to end up giving him a bottle. Probably put electrolytes and an egg in it. Try to get him to absorb some more water. Get him kind of moving around again. As you can see, he's really wet back here. And that started about three four days ago. And he was drinking water and seemed to be doing fine. And now he's just kind of lethargic. So we want to try to aid him a little bit. And get him back up and moving around. Once he's moving around, he should start doing that uh, intake on his own enough water. Shut up. He should start uh, doing it on his own once he can kind of get going. And we're going to back off on the grain and just have him eating just nice quality hay for a bit so we can bind him up. But he's just kind of feeling under the weather. So we're going to take this time here throughout the day. And we're going to keep giving him... Um, electrolytes and water um, we're just going to aid him a bit i don't think he's the point where he'll need any kind of ivs or anything like that i don't think so we're going to try to do it just giving him a bottle okay so we're going to do that um, i'm going to go make his bottles up i'll give those two a couple bottles um the heifer's doing fine chickens are doing fine actually chickens i they were kind of a menace but i've been throwing their feed in here and they've kept this nice and cleaned up Kept it real kind of clean. We're going to throw some more straw in here. But they're doing a good job keeping all the poop kind of straightened out and, and spread around. Um, I've actually, uh, the neighbor gives me uh, all her like kitty litter bins like this. So I've been putting them all around the barn um, for nesting boxes. Try to keep the chickens putting eggs where I can find them. Then i just been pitching them to the pigs, but... Don't get up, buddy. I'll take care of you in a second, man. So I'm going to get him taken care of. He looks like, you see, he's he's got life in him. He's not down and out, but he's just not feeling well just because of that dehydration. So we're going to let your lights. I know. I know. I know. Hey, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right, bud. Okay. So let's, let's do that. Let's get everyone set here, and I'll be right back, and I'll try to set this up so you can kind of see me taking care of me. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, you're still he's still warm. He still has reflex there. He just looks terrible. We're gonna fix you up, bud. 
we're gonna fix you up. I don't talk about my pigs much. They don't get as much attention as they should, but uh, they're doing great. I mean, these guys have been pretty low maintenance. I flick their feed in here, they do their thing. Um, they're growing nice. I got them on a 18% uh, feed. Um, yeah, they're they're solid. I throw hay in here too. They eat a lot of hay. These guinea hogs will. Uh, you can kind of see the remnants there. Um, they do pretty good. They're pretty friendly for the most part. Oh, she's max. She's eating. But they're they're pretty friendly. They've been a good, uh, solid pig. You know, even with the weather changes and everything like that, they haven't had any issues. I do have to expand their pen, but it's probably gonna have to wait till spring, and then we're gonna separate off her because hopefully my boar will be able to get after here in a little while. And then I don't want her having uh, piglets with everybody in here. Um, and I want to have room to nest. So, yeah, they're doing fine. If you have any more questions about these, I'll probably do a couple of videos on them soon. Especially when I expand their pen and kind of make some uh, additions uh, to their pen here. But uh, they're doing fine. So let me keep going and make those bottles. Alright, we're just going to give him a generic uh, electrolytes. This, multi this stuff's like $1.99, $1.50 or something like that. So we're going to give him a bottle of this every two to four hours until he starts kind of kicking around. I'm going to do this hands free here. I don't know if it's going to stay pointed at him or not. But we're going to, we're going to try this. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Here, here. There you go. So see, he still has a... He's still drinking just really dehydrated so hopefully this kind of perks them up so this is that electrolyte packet plus an egg uh, they give them a little extra protein a little extra energy um, you can also just put an egg in their mouth and break it in their mouth and have meat that way that'll give them a boost of energy um, we'll see what this does like I said we're gonna keep a real close eye on it thank you thank you for that so we're gonna keep doing this we're gonna keep a real close eye on him um, so the next one will probably just be a bottle um, with a little bit of replacer in it just to entice him to drink. Yeah, see he's kind of losing some because he's at a weird angle. Um, but every little bit's going to help him here. This electrolyte's going to help him. And there's also some other crap in there they put to help him retain water. So it's probably some salt in there. And I didn't check the ingredients. I don't 100% remember, but... It'll be it'll be enough to help him retain that water. Once he starts getting active and moving around, uh, he should be able to go and, and drink his own water. But you want to keep uh, losing a calf to dehydration is stupid. So we're just gonna make sure that he's gonna be good to go. Um, like so, this calf was kind of all right. So this calf was already kind of had some issues when we got him. Uh, we straightened out his legs for the most part with those selenium shots and A and E. Uh, now it's just whatever he's got going on digestively. Uh, I I haven't seen anything funky in his poop that would show um, uh, cositis or whatever it's called. I don't know how to pronounce that damn word. With that parrot. Get out of here! You're driving me nuts. Um, I haven't seen anything in his stool that shows any kind of parasites or anything, but we're gonna keep checking on that. And if we have to, we'll drench him with some Co-Red, and then we'll do that treatment as well. But I don't want to give it to him if he doesn't need it. Um, no other calf in here is showing signs of it. But they... Dude. But but uh, they all come from different places, so I'm just going to keep an eye on him with that, too. We'll keep checking um, his manure and see. Go away if you're going to do it. I'm going to throw something at that chicken in a minute. He wants me to feed him. But I already fed him. Oh boy, you're driving me nuts. So I'm going to stop this here and you, so you can see me feeding. I got those two eating already. Um, and then we're going to go over there and we're going to give them some grain and we're going to start weaning them off the, weaning them off the bottle. So that really is driving me crazy right now. All right, so he got his whole bottle in, well, most of it. He's got a little hay in his mouth. He's kind of nibbling. So we'll check on him in like an hour and see if he's kind of feeling any better. Um, we got to dress these two here. So, got these two hang on feeders here. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix them a little something here. Look how sweet we are. Look how. So, this 
So we'll do, we're gonna do a ton. Oh, where's my scooper? Where's my scooper at? So we'll do a little bit of, just a little bit of sweet in here, just to get them to do it. And then we'll go, just your cheap stuff from uh, uh, Track Supplies, Craft Starter, your Producer's Pride, or whatever it's called. Some of that in here. Okay. That. And then we will. So your milk replacer can also be used as a bit of a dry feed. So we'll do that, just kind of get them interested in it. Okay. So I'll take that. One here, this one here should kind of go after it. We'll get their water replaced. I took them out, but having nice fresh water and this in there ought to. Yeah, he's eating. So let's grab the other one. Now the Jersey Cross, he likes the hay. He doesn't really seem to go after his starter much. So we'll see if he gets more interested. So we'll leave these in here for him now because they're probably still fairly hungry. Um, he's putting on weight good on the replacer, the Holstein not so much. Um, we rebedded everybody down. So hopefully he, so I like to, if they don't just eat it, cause they're gonna have, they're gonna want, come here, come here. I'll just kind of put it in his mouth for him. Yeah, get him to chew it a little bit. He's doing good. He's nibbling right on it. So we're going to keep doing that with him, putting it in his mouth, getting that rumen going. He already eats hay, so he's just being kind of a stinker right now. But this one's doing well at it. We'll keep checking on this. I'm going to leave these hanging since they're still kind of hungry. He's probably... There you go. So they'll start nibbling on it as time goes on, and we'll monitor how much. Like I said, the whole scene does really well on it. He's been kind of fighting me on it a little bit. But this point leading on... We're gonna give them a handful. Well, probably not him, but him. He'll get a handful in his mouth before he gets his bottle. I should have done it today, but I was distracted with the bowl. Um, well, they're all bowls, but um, so before feeding, he's gonna get a handful in his mouth. He's gonna get his bottle. Then he's gonna get this, and then I'll leave these in here so as they get hungry uh, before the next feeding, hopefully they come over here and kind of nibble on that. So. We'll start weaning these guys off, get them off the replacer, hopefully in a week or so. They're down to at least a bottle, plus their starter, and then we'll go from just their starter and get rid of the blast bottle. But uh, these guys have been great, yeah. So this video is going to be kind of longer because I'm going to keep doing checks on him. Um, and we'll keep checking on them and seeing how they're doing on their starter. So I will see you here in a second. All right, so it is the next morning and it did not go well last night so i continue to try to push liquids and then i gave them uh, electrolytes um, some b vitamins um I mean, I think he was eating he was eating hay and he was nibbling on grain uh, i went to bed at about i don't know 2 30 last night came out here about eight and he had passed i don't know it wasn't exactly just dehydration. There's something else going on there. Um, I don't know what it could be because none of my other calves are sick. Uh, the heifer that was in, she's showing no signs of anything at all. Um, they had been together since they came from the sales barn. So I'm not sure what happened there. It sucks because, I mean, he's been here for, what, a month or so? Um, so it's a major bummer. A lot of wasted resource. It always sucks to lose an animal. You try everything you can. Um, I debated on even wanting to put this up because I don't like showing, you know, agriculture, like, any kind of negative light. Not that that's negative. I mean, animals die. I mean, if you've asked any old timers or anybody about calves, they're all going to 
probably try to convince you to do anything but calves. Um, so it, it was a bummer. Um, I had a buddy who has gotten a lot of calves from that particular farm, and it sounds like he had some issues too. Um, right around the same age. Um, so I'm not sure exactly, you know, what, what to make of it, but sucks. Um, super disappointing. Um, I don't know, but there are some positives. So we'll talk about our calves here and I'll show you where they're at on the weaning process here. So I'll be with you in a second. All right. So the Holstein here has done a pretty good job of eating down that starter. Um, I think I need to get them both. He did all right. He didn't do as good. I took that one back off, refilled it, and gave it to her. Um, but I'm going to get him out of here after about a week or so. I just want to make sure there's nothing going on in here. I don't think so because she's completely fine. Um, but I'm going to move them into here so she can kind of watch her. She can teach them better than I can. So I'm going to let them kind of chill here. I'll keep giving them their, their bottle and whatever. Uh, get off there. Get off. Hey, get off that. Yeah, they don't want that. So, uh, yeah, so we'll leave in here for a little bit until I make sure everything's good over here. Um, after a week or so, I'm going to put it onto one bottle so if I can get them hungry enough to really kind of encourage that. And then once they're in here, they should see her eating the hay and going outside and doing the whole thing. So, that's what we're going to do with them. Uh, I'll do some kind of semi, you know, daily updates on these two so you can see how it goes. Um, yeah, um, so that's going to do it for this video. This, this video turned into a quick bummer. Uh, well, not that quick, but quick for you. Um, yeah, just, uh, the thing with that, um, beef cross, it's just, it's just, uh, I'm going to go outside where it's a little more fresh and a little brighter. Um, it just it sucks when it happens um the problem is it happens it's, it's a thing that just happens I, mean, I don't know how else to say it if you're new to calves you know you're probably your first batch or so it either goes one of two ways usually it goes perfect and you're like hey great and then your second batch sucks or your first batch is a nightmare and then you kind of get away from calves in general it just really depends on where you get the calves and uh how much luck you had but um yeah just a bummer but we'll keep weaning those ones off um you know, next week, we're back to the auction. Um, I've got a guy calling me from another farm. He's got some started calves um, that are in the 170 to 200 pound range uh, group of them. So I might grab those. I know someone commented about, you know, if you're going to do the spring feeder sale, have a group of light calves and, you know, it's great advice. So I'm going to take you up on that advice and see if I can't get a big group of started calves, 10 or so, and then let them go out in the front here. Um, I bought a bunch of hay but you didn't see it happen between feeding this bull calf, but I got a decent deal. I mean, it's it's fourth cutting, so it's not as nutritious as I'd like, but I am giving them grains. So I'm not super worried about it. Um, yeah, it's not gonna, okay. So I did put up last night between this and making this video that the auction will happen on Monday at 7 p.m. So Monday, I don't remember what day it is, the 17th or something like that. I don't remember, it'll be in the description. Um, seven o'clock live drawing so those of you who have not entered go ahead and enter and then monday that's it i'm gonna draw and then i'll reach out to y'all and we'll get you your, your gift card sorry it took so long just things have just just seems to happen i don't know i was hoping 2021 would be a little different but it's been uh just as hectic so yeah i think that's gonna do it for me um like i said uh next week we'll get the started calves some more calves i've got hutches to put in there some hutches to put out so we'll be able to expand on uh, what I can put out here. Um, oh, yes, yes. And there is a, a new piece of the channel, um, and I guess the Farm and Truck brand, um, that you'll see in the coming days. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, I've been working on it on the side, and I'm going to launch it soon. So very mysterious, but stay tuned for that. I think you're going to dig it. And uh, that's going to do it for me, and I'll see you on the next one.